Hi friends, you're Rosario from Simply Options. In today's session, let us have a look on IV, implied volatility. Let me give you a glimpse of what is being covered in the part two of implied volatility. So this segment on how to find the current IV, whether it is low or high, and how we made a big profits on budget day due to IV crash. We have predicted this IV crash just a previous day and I have sh shown that in my tutor. All that with live recorded examples, we will cover it in part two. And more importantly, the secret sausage of option selling on how we make profits on option selling. That's that small little secret we will cover. How do we know whether the current IV is low IV or high IV? The only way to know that is to compare the current IV with the historical data. There are a couple of metrics which is available for us to indicate that. One is IV rank. IV rank in very simple terms, it says how much is the current IV is away from the low level. For example, in past one year, if the low IV is 10 and the high IV is 70 and the current IV is say 40, it is at 50% level. For the entire range of 60 points, this current IV 40 is 30 points away from the low level. So which means it is exactly at the midway. If the rank is say 100%, IV rank is 100%, it is at the highest level. The current IV and high IV is equal. If the say if the current IV is uh, 10 and IV rank is 0, which means the lowest IV is the current IV. IV percentile, uh, IV percentile is a slightly tweaked version of uh, IV rank in order to eradicate the error of average. Uh, in simple terms, IV percentile tells what percentage of days historical IV for the last one year is lower than the current IV level. Say for the current IV level is 15 and the IV percentile is 99% which means in the last one year 99% of the time the IV was less than 15 of the current IV. Big budget day profits. Uh, I'm going to show you how we made uh, big profits on the budget day. Let me uh, go to my tutor account. I'll show you. I, I used to post my all my PNL on a daily basis in tutor. I'm going to show you from there. So this is the budget happens to be on first Feb. This uh, we made our highest ever intraday profit on that day. We made around 19 lakhs, which happens to be our highest ever intraday profit also on that particular date. This predominantly happened due to IV crash. But did it happen on that day? Did we plan it on that day? No. We took a view uh, on the previous day itself. I have tweeted that as well. You can, if you can see there, uh, just before one day before the budget, I uh, we predicted that Nifty will not be moving significantly. I told from the gap up opening point, I, due to SGX Nifty, I know it's going to be a gap up opening. From the gap up opening point, Nifty will not move significantly from plus or minus 1%. As predicted by me, Nifty opened around 17,500. It has not crossed 1% plus or it has not crossed 1% minus. So, and I have I keyed in, in my algo all the strategies which give, will give me good profits if this view goes right. That's how I have planned for the next day. And uh, I'm humbled. The market also obliged for that fact. You can check on the budget day. Let me show you how this particular profit has been made on the budget day with uh, one lot example in Nifty. So there is a tool called Option Define Edge, Option Simulator, wherein we can relive the same day what would have happened if we have taken that particular strategy on that day. So the budget day is on 1st Feb. It's a 3rd February expiry. Uh, say morning 9.20. So morning 9.20, I'm going and taking a straddle. So uh, the option prices was 2.30 and uh, put side and call side is up 212. So approximately I'll be getting 450 points. So if the nifty moves more than beyond 450 points, I should worry. If it doesn't, I need not. But my view, nifty will not move 150 points up and down. So I'm just adding one cell here. 
and I'm selling one more call option on call one put I'm selling it now what happens let us see on the budget day I have sold this is the PNL area just have a keen watch in this particular area I'm just moving the day 15 minutes once so after 15 minutes uh, this straddle is giving you 200 rupees loss the finance minister speech starts at 11 o'clock see 10 30 10 35 still I'm at 1000 rupees loss 10.50 now the finance minister just starts speaking I'm still at loss she hasn't completed her speech because the uh, IV has not crashed because only after her all her announcement the IV will crash till 11.50 she is speaking at 12.00 12 12 o'clock she has just about to complete and she has completed her speech at 12.20 now from here on the magic happens you can see the IV starts crashing I am at a profit of 2000 and going further further I am at a profit of 4000 after 130 the IV starts crashing even more uh, higher I am at a profit of 6000 7000 and towards the close of the day the IV has fallen even further it's 250 uh, the IV has crashed so much and nifty has moved within that 0.5 percent range here and there and it is coming to the midpoint so around 3 o'clock you can notice three, I'll just go to 320 around 320 we have made around 8000 8000 for say even if you take the approximate capital deployed for this is 2 lakhs 8000 is around 4 percentage that is the return it has given uh, unfortunately I have not gone with my full volume had I been gone with my full volume I would have easily touched around 50 to 60 lakhs I have gone very conservatively being it is on a Tuesday I have gone very conservatively still I was able to achieve that particular return it is fully because the IV has crushed to the core and our view that the nifty will not move significantly from the midpoint has been prone right option selling secrets this is the final little segment but we thought it's not a little topic it's a topic by itself we need to cover this exhaustively so we are planning to release this as a separate video in the upcoming weekend so wherein we'll be covering these bulletin points how buy low sell high applies to option selling and why most of the time actual movement is less than the implied movement and what is the importance of theta decay Theta decay is the bread and butter of an option seller which gives an edge for his uh, system. And last but not least risk management it is one of the key factor which determines the success of an option seller. So all these uh, points we will be covering exhaustively in the upcoming session. Thank you friends hope you like this particular video the sun is about to set it is almost uh, dimming and we are also about to uh, conclude our session hope you like it. We will connect with you in the next session. Cheers.